Hi everyone, welcome to the 2022 Indiana State Disc Golf Championship filmed by Skies Heiser Productions. I'm Chris Baker, joined here by my Scabry Disc teammate and Ulti World contributor Steve Andrews. How you doing, Steve? Good, how you doing, Chris? Can't wait to watch this. Yeah, looking forward to this. This is our first round coverage from the Brown County Country Club, or BC3 as it's been around here. We got Connor McKenna, Kevin Faudry, Elijah Bickle, and Trevin Crow. Hole one here is a uh, downhill uh, 333 foot drive. You can go backhand or forehand. Um, it's actually in the shorter, more precarious pin position right on this ledge, which makes it really challenging. Yeah, I mean, your two shots are really a forehand. You, you, you risk the trees on the left or kind of a turnover. The tree here on the corner is actually something you got to work around. Kind of looks like he's looking at a backhand. So, I mean, the concern here is you really want to turn it over right and then have it flex out, and it's just reading that enough because left of this pin slopes way down to the trees. It's like a mid-range from Connor. It turned over a little bit. And that's and that's the miss. You're scared of going left, and so you kind of leave it a little further out. And then uh, I like the forehand play if you've got the power to get it there. Kevin going forehand. That looks pretty smooth. A little low. A little low. And so the, the next thing is that this putt from that position right of the pin is drops dead away. So you're going to have to be brave to run it. Here's Elijah Bickle from Peru, Spro prodigy sponsored player going forehand. That looks like a good forehand. Mm -hmm. A little Ooh. hot, a little long. He'll have a decision to make. Yeah, I, I think he probably runs it. I, I don't know. I mean, I think it's, it's too early to be scared. And if, if you can kind of half go it, that might work. And here's Trevin Crow, also out of Peru, Indiana. He's going backhand. Ooh, it's a good shot. Oh, you needed a little bit of flex on that, but he's still going to have a good look. Um, but I don't know that you run that one. I'm not sure I would. You? Uh, it's tough. It's tough. Once you get up there, you got to kind of see how far anywhere else of the circle. I feel like layup is a smart play on that, but we'll see what these guys do. Connor's pretty far out, so he's just trying to get close. Yeah. Nice and safe. Good up. Trevin's probably 40, 45. Boy, you want this one, but it's a scary putt. Mm. Well, half go, and it sits. Metal's good. good. <laughs> yeah, metal's good. Kevin's maybe 35-ish, maybe a little longer. It's kind of one of those kinds of define your round. Little stepper. Oh, oh cashes it in. Define your round. It's a great putt. For sure. Good way to start the round. Elijah's got about the same distance. And he does what you and I normally do from that. <laughs> that's, that's my play. Yeah, that's my play. Trevin tapping out for his par. You want this hole, but when you get down there and look at that drop dead away, you kind of think, I'll take my three and go to the next hole. Definitely. BC3 is a beautiful course, and it's one of those courses that if you play it really well, it doesn't seem like you're doing anything special, right? Like you just do a little flex shot and you get your putt. So, but when it goes sideways. Hole two is a tunnel shot. Um, the drone here is uh, flying down to the bottom right pin, which is very scary, but they'll actually be playing the straight pin for the state championships here. Uh, about the same distance, but more of a straight shot. Um, you just basically want to keep something straight down the middle and have it kind of slide up to the basket. Kevin going back in. And that's exactly what I was talking about. So it just looks like a simple shot, 255, but a bad hit out at BC3, it's really, it can drop. These are big gorges on the right-hand side and you can go just about anywhere. The safe miss here is probably throw it a little to the left side, you know, get your two if you can, but, but that's probably where you want to miss. Connor yeah, throws shot, a laser Connor. beam. Beautiful. So good. Or just do that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, again, like that's a shot that he just threw it straight. It doesn't look like he did anything remarkable, um, but it, it, it's really what you need to do is to execute those kind of, like really kind of straight ahead shots here at PC3. Elijah throwing slow and smooth. Oh, yeah. There's and, the miss you're talking about. Yeah, that's the good miss, right? So you have a chance if you want to run at it. But again, if you miss this putt, it can really kick right. So you kind of pick your poison. Trevin looks to have a mid or a putter in his hand here. Turn that over. 
it's just hard to resist the temptation to, to have that miss, especially after the first guy on the tee goes way right into, <laughs> you know, the darkness. So here's the darkness. Yeah, here's Kevin. Really no lanes up in there, just trying to fight as much as you can. I mean, to be honest, it, it was good to get that far. He may have a look from where he is, but, you know, this is, well, it's kind of a look. It's a good run. At, you know, the, but the risk here is, again, if you hit metal, it can roll 80 feet. I've rolled 80 feet down to that gorge. Yep. Trevin circles edge. Oh, grabs that tree. And that's what happens. There it is. <laughs> that is actually the, the bottom pin position, those rocks there that he just right. hit. That's probably saved him from going way further. Another 100 feet, maybe? I mean, who knows? Oh, that is so great. Great save. Gosh. Elijah? Like 25, mm -hmm. 28. Oh. Sit. Good sit. It's one you want to get. Yep, for sure. Kevin with the bogey, erasing that first hole birdie. But it was a pretty good scramble from where he was. Yeah, and I've seen those good putt. And nice birdie, birdie from Connor. And, you know, that's the thing at BC3. Some of those you just miss by a little and they turn into big numbers. So probably good to stop the bleeding with a four. Elijah for tap in three. And we're on to the next hole. Hole three is actually our first combo hole. Um, it's a combination of holes three and four here at BC3. Um, we're throwing out back out into the open and then up to an elevated basket. Uh, BC3 is a 24 hole normal layout, but this is a 21 hole layout for Indiana States. Looks like Connor got out of the woods. Elijah's almost out. We'll probably have a look at it from there, I would guess. This is playing playing as uh, one of the hardest holes on on the course. Uh, called a par three, played significantly over three for the entire MPO field. That is a fantastic forehand from Trevin. Wow. But he's still got a ways to go. Ooh. Kevin slips a little, but still gets pretty good pop on it. And get, oh, wow. Gets out. Oh, my gosh. That's a great miss. So basket's elevated on a, a trailer back up towards the clubhouse. I mean, it's it's 410 low ceiling tunnel uphill, probably plays over 500 feet. Yeah. This is... Again, I just still got to navigate the, the trees just to get out, and he doesn't quite do it. And this is something you'll have at BC3 a lot is kind of you'll occasionally get low ceilings and gaps you have to hit. I mean, it's a wonderful golf course, but it's it has some of these challenges where if you get off off the, the correct line, you're really, you may have to do some real scrambling to get back in position. Smooth up. Yeah, good up. From Kevin there. Oh, nice upshot. Yep, right. Should be an easy uh, tap in for a par here on par three. Yep, 
out at this course, they uh, they move this elevation around from different holes. So you never know when you go out to play exactly what hole might be elevated. They, yeah. they, they switch it around. Yep. Kind of a cool little, little feature being on mm -hmm. this trailer, elevated. Challenging putt for... Oh, good putt. Nice save. It's a four there from Elijah. Oh, was that a four? Where he was uh, at. And probably best case. Kevin's got an elevated 18, 20 footer here. A little high, but it's in. Yep. Gets his three and moves on. Connor for his three. So there were no birdie twos from the MPO field during round one on this hole. And like I said, average well over par 3.3 for the MPO field. Pretty challenging hole. How would it have been as a par four? Soft? Uh, soft, yeah, 3.3. Yeah. So this is a original hole five. It's our four, fourth hole uh, of the front seven here. Um, low ceiling, straight. You can go back in. You can go forehand. What do you like here? I used to like the Heiser Flip forehand, uh, Heiser Flip backhand, but I'm actually kind of been playing the forehand lately. I mean, there's there's room for the forehand to, again. There's there's they, there are nice gaps. Just got to hit them. Connor going forehand. Looks like maybe a fairway driver. It's a good shot. Mm -hmm. Get him yeah. in the circle. Trevin's forehand too. Yep. Do you, you go forehand? I do. Yep. I like going forehand on this hole. Just the way the ground is up of the basket kind of scoots up. If you get low and skip up, you tend to skip up towards the basket. Ooh, that's the one tree you have to miss. That's a great shot. Oh, yeah. That's Beautiful a great shot. shot. There's the low forehand. Yeah. That's kind of that's kind of what I like to throw on this hole and. Kevin executes oh, it perfectly. Absolutely beautiful. Elijah going back in. It's a good line. Just yeah. Elijah's got about so edge of circle two, probably. Maybe a little longer. A little uphill, too. Ooh, oh, good run. Yep. Go bid at it. No, that's a good putt, dude. Connor, edge of circle. Good hit. Good birdie. Mm hmm. Trevin to clean up. Trevin is one of uh, two touring players on this card, Trevin and Elijah, both from Peru and, and both touring now on the Disc Golf Pro Tour. So it's cool to see him here at this tournament in September of last year. Hole six is a beast. Uh, hole six is uphill, gotta get out of this tunnel. Uh, basket is tucked in up here in this little cluster of trees. Um, somewhat low ceiling, it's 400 feet but plays every bit of 450 to 500 to get all the way up there yeah it makes you hit a tiny gap off the tee and then to hit the right line going up and and there's ob far right that you would think would never come in play until it very much comes in play forehand is a good choice here kind of just try to make the gap and get out mm -hmm. that's a fantastic forehand from connor but even a really good shot still gives you a really tough putt because it's encircled in trees. It almost, I mean, you have to get so close to it and just be also in the right spot to have a line. Yeah, I mean, that shot was great, but it's still probably 80 to 100 out. With a tree probably before you in the basket. Trevin Ooh. going backhand, and that's Gosh. the risk there. And that's where that OB is. Yeah. You think it's not going to have a chance until... You get a bounce. I don't think he's anywhere near it, but but it, it lurks over there and it makes the, that the net. property line over there. It does a, it's a, it comes to a corner on the right. 
another good forehand there mm -hmm. from Kevin. That's really good. Center cut. Shot yeah. Elijah. Fire, great. That's fine. Fire. Yep. My, I'm, I'm throwing like the shift I've ever heard. Now the problem is when you're down on this right side, depending on where he is, is another tree hit yep. can really cost you. So yeah, this is kind of jail if you kick right. Looks like Trevin fought through. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, maybe not. He must have kicked down a little bit. So now he's throwing three. Put himself at the edge of the circle, maybe obstructed. A little chip nice shot from shot. Connor. Ooh, Ooh, a little hot. Great shot. A little I mean, bit. <laughs> that's the that's the plan, right? I mean, you get if you can get that shot, hope that something's going to break in, maybe knock you in. I mean, it's just to once you're there, you're, it's kind of out of your hands. You can put it up there, but just you know, hope for a good result. There's also some low branches up in that cluster too. It makes it hard to run. Yeah, They'll, those will reach down and knock down enough shot and put you 25 to 30 away. Mm -hmm. Trevin to save a bogey. Mm. Oh, his chain's out. Yeah, this is a kind of a BC3 moment, right? You a little the, obstructed. A little obstructed. You're going to have to work it in there. Ooh, Ooh. great pot. Snuck it in. Yeah. Saves that three, which feels good on this hole. Mm -hmm, for sure. Kevin takes the double bogey five there. It's a tough hole. This hole's got me many times. For sure. I mean, you can see that, you know, it, it puts a premium on BC3 to be able to hit a line, a very specific line off the tee, and when you get into trouble, to be able to scramble. And those yep. are your, the, what BC3 is really asking you to do. And I mean, other places that ask you to throw it a long way. Hole seven, uh, ducks back into the woods and then throws up out of the woods up to this elevated basket on top of a little hill here. Um, it can be scary putting up around this area. Uh, you gotta keep it low off the tee. Usually it's a right hand, back hand. Um, you just want it to hyzer quickly mm -hmm. to get up and out of the woods. If you push straight, you'll kick right and stay in the woods. I mean, there's enough room. It, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't look much like it from the tee, but there, there's a, definitely a line. And if you get the line, you know, you get, you get the, the reward. Looks good from Connor. Okay, he got Great out. Shot. Yep. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. There's a low shot from Kevin, but that's kind of what you need here. And you need a little flare skip, and that's fantastic too. Sit down. Ooh. Oh boy! Well, roll. elevated basket, um, tough putt from there, but little little wide. If you're just a little right and don't hyzer quick enough, mm -hmm. that's what happens. Looks good. Yeah, Looked good. good, but it didn't stay clean. Oh, you catch something. Trevin's still in the woods. Tricky scramble shot here. Yeah. I don't. I don't like. Good I just knew because I liked it out of my hand that it worked. Trevin kicked a little right. So he's got a little forehand out. Good shot. Good shot. Very good. Kevin, uphill, 35-footer. Oh, stepper. great putt. There like you a go. replay, a hole one. Oh, God, that's a good putt. It doesn't even matter it rolled so far away. That's a good putt. 
Connor with the two. Two birdies on the hole from our feature card here. Not bad. And we're moving on to hole eight. Triv and tap out. Is it in the long position? Or? So hole eight is actually a, another combination oh, hole here. So uh, we are um, coming out of the woods uh, and then taking a turn to the right. Um, this actually combines eight to hole 10's basket, which is on the other side of this pond. So uh, it is a very, very challenging par four. Um, got to get out and then you got to make a decision. It's probably another 350 to 400 to carry if you get in a good spot off the tee. Um, so these guys will have to decide after their tee shot what they want to do. Um, forehand can get you out and right some. So that's what Connor's doing here. Needs a good flare skip. Yeah. If you go too long, you can get in that back alleyway, though, and be blocked off. Right, that makes it a shot. very tough second shot. So you actually almost kind of want to saw this off and get inside over the short tee pad there. But even so, if you get over in that, like there, that's a nice spot, but you got a downhill run up to hit it, to go uphill over water. Uh, it's a... Lay back, good footing, longer run. Yeah, I just have to see where you, you end up, though, in relation to the trees, whether they're blocking off your shot. Like I said, you really need to kind of saw this off and get over to the right if you want to have a shot across the water. Either that or go really long off the tee here and then throw through the back door. Mm -hmm. That could be great, depending on where it ends up. Oh, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. That's really good, yeah. I mean, the question is, you know, how how flat it is up there. See, this is a nice flat spot, but I don't. Yeah, he's probably looking at 450 to carry, and he's got that. He's eyeing it up. Heiser flip to ride right? Yeah. Come out yeah. of it. It's a beautiful throw. Get it. Oh, <sighs> just almost not enough. Connor just got to lay up here. I almost wonder whether, for me, I'd almost rather be in this position to just have going for it taken out of my hands. Yeah. Make me have to lay up yeah. to a place where I can get up and down. And yep. Nothing like a clear decision. This is a, Yeah, Kevin's got the power to get across. Sure. He's going to go for it. It's over on an overstable disc. He, he cleared it by quite a bit. Now he's got about a 60 foot putt back toward the water. I'm guessing about 350 for Trevin. Yeah, I mean, this is a kind of like, you almost feel like you have to go for it, right? Because you threw it so if good. If you're here, yeah. If you're here, you you, you have to go for it. And it's, it's the right decision. I mean, you, he has the power. It's not. As long as you can, you can even throw it long if you have that distance just to mm. give it a little safety. A little right. It's starting to fade back. Does it have enough? It does. Oh, it's not bad. bad. Okay. Sure. Yeah, middle circle two putt. I mean, that's the advantage. You take more than you need to get there so you can have a little room behind. But this shot, you know, again, you want to stick this close because you're throwing three, but that canopy oh, that's a good shot yeah. yeah it's hard not to even on that on that approach shot not to throw you know long because you know that's where all the safety is it's hard to you know to make yourself throw the actual distance so you're going to almost always cheat a little long because short is so punitive. Mm -hmm. So Elijah throwing three plus the penalty here. Good shot. Good soft up shot. Kevin seems to be hitting these. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he's running this. 
Ooh, oh. Boy, that's beautiful. And mm -hmm. it's a good angle from there, right? He's not right at the water, so he can be a little more aggressive. Yeah, you got to hit metal, though. You got to <laughs> hit metal. But if you're coming in that fast. Another good one. So no birdies on the card and uh, no birdies for the field on this hole. Uh, this averaged uh, 0.6 over par for par 4, 4.6 for the round one. So really challenging combo hole. It's a beautiful hole, though. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely like the idea. Mm -hmm. So that's the end of our front seven. Um, Connor and Kevin shooting two down. Elijah and Trevin a couple over. Uh, Lucas Rooney, uh, a local player actually, is four under through the front seven. Uh, thanks for joining us, and we'll be back here for the middle seven at BC3.